Hey fellas, welcome to CIR Season 5 at Austria. I'm basically going to go back through my stream and just review the race and just talk about what I was doing in the moment. I think this would be a good idea. It's kind of similar to what Jano Ochner does for his videos, so that's at least the goal with it, so we'll see how this goes. So, we're in Austria. The A1 ring, it's raining, and, well, I think the strategy is simple. Put on the wets and just head out there. there we go. It'll be doing go. about a 9 lap run and then I'm going to follow it up with yeah. another 10 lap run Warned and then up. try to go to the end on it. Just do a 2 stop. So okay, we're at the start. Lights are coming on. All right. And Good lights luck. are out and off we go. So not too bad of a start for us. We got a decent start. Off into turn 1. Another position gain or loss and all of a sudden up the inside. Here comes Ben Morin. To my right, and I got a feeling I was about to be squeezed. Ferrari wing is stuck in our front, but on the bright side for us, we get through with zero damage, and that was my goal. Better if I took Unfortunately, and though, I we lost three places out of it, and off goes the Salver. They had no rear wing, and there goes our teammate. Unfortunate for Stetnica, but. I'm sure he may recover. So we're going to look to the inside of the Renault right here, and the other Renault goes off the track and spinning. So we clear, and we're ahead of both Renaults now. Up in the P12. There goes the. F I think that was a Williams that went off track, and there was a Ferrari right there. Uh, Krosky. He lost his front wing. We about hit Ben's lagging car right there, so let's land on the brakes, not, not the hit him. I wanted to be behind. Like I said, I don't want to be behind him, but it is what it is. So right here, Ben lags out. We're a lot closer now, and then all of a sudden, and off he, the track he goes. I don't know what to say about it, but at least I know I wasn't at fault for it. It was just a case of lag. So on the lap four, we go into turn two. I have a big moment right there. Just lose the rear on entry, but a good thing for us, we kept it pointed in the right direction. My rears aren't even that hot. When check my rear temps right there, but come to the conclusion to calm down the brakes and off goes Steve Link right there to our left. Into the points we go. And I thought top seven was points, but it turns out top eight, so we were already in the points by that point. So lap five, and somebody else spuns off there. That was. The BAR of Adam. Adam. So now we move into P6. And little to my no little did I know, the McLaren Mercedes of Luca right there and did not have a front wing. So we move up into P5. And the top f uh, podium is right in front of us. So on the lap 7 we go. We've got a McLaren Mercedes and a Toyota in front of us. McLaren Mercedes, uh, Michael right here does not get a good exit. We're gonna look up the inside right here. We're gonna send it up the inside, hug the curb, and it's gonna stay side by side right here on exit. But we're gonna get them cleared because we're using less downforce. So about three laps left on fuel. Up into P4 we go. So on to lap nine, and we decide it's now time to come in. So. Got to stay to the right, and I'm sure you guys cannot see it, but there's a white line that we're supposed to stay to the right of. So, into the pit lane we go, and I take the penalty of not practicing my pit entry in the rain. It's a lot more slick than usual, but we make up for it on, right here on the pit entry. We got the perfect amount of breaking in, and we did get some damage from that, but I decided it's probably for the better if we go ahead and repair it. And I completely screwed up that entry. We're supposed to close that menu in the t in the right side of the screen that shows our fuel and such. We're supposed to close that in order to get our uh, pit stop going. But really we good. come out with a 9.0 uh, second stop. And I thought it was good, but I quickly realized that it wasn't. So, out of the pits we go. So now all we need to do is try to catch Whitman, who we might get an undercut on. So moving on to lap 13, Whitman is exiting the pits as we speak, and he comes out about a second ahead of us. So, from this point forward, I just I was thinking my best bet will be to just push right here and try my best to catch him. And into turn 2 we go, and I have another moment under braking. 
had to counter steer a bit, but we didn't have to lock it up that time. So we're all good. On to lap 14 we go. We're a lot closer to Whitman now, but we're taking it easy, just trying to keep make sure it's okay. And a lapper, one of the bat markers, one of the Renaults got in the way there. Whitman had to go wide to avoid him. I uh, just snuck to the inside and got on by him because of it. And I was not going to wait for this uh, lapper. And we went to the inside. And we move up into P3. So from this point forward, it was just stay ahead of Whitman. And on the lap 20 now, we have one lap left in our, in our tank. And Whitman is not that far behind us. But our main goal here is just to stay ahead of him and make it to the penetry without crashing. Move over to the right. And stay to the right of the white line. Into the pits we go. And we know what to do on penetry this time. We do not overshoot it. And apparently Whitman pinned with us. So, from my conclusion of that, I would think we were both on the same strategy right here. Me and him are on the same strategy. As I said right there. And I think we're both on the same strategy. And I nailed my pit entry. Nothing more I could ask for. <laughs> so, Come on, Come on. all I can ask from them is just to have a, a quick enough stop so we can get ahead of Whitman. Which we don't. He beats us out. An 8.8 .8 second stop. And I was confused on how he got us. I think he beat us out pit road because I did everything correct that time. I came in ahead of him about three tenths. Because I got him beat on the straights. I know that. I just need to figure out how to beat him in terms of tire work because I know it's going to be bad at the end. Like I said, I think the tire work is going to be bad, so I'm just going to have to beat him in concentration. And all of a sudden, I hear Toyota's raiding the pits. Whitman pitting? And to my surprise, Whitman's pitting. For some reason, he decided to pit with about less than five, almost five to go, should I say. And he heads into the pits. And it explains a lot as to why he beat me out of pit road. Why would he pit to the wait? Navigate and we got ourselves a P3. And on to the last lap we go. Like I said, I wasn't expecting him to pit, but it explains why he beat us out of pit road. He took less fuel than us. So we get through the last uh get to the last lap right here. And we're in P3. And to my surprise, I did not think we would be this high, but the truth was we did not make a mistake all race, really. Besides, well, I guess you can say we made a mistake here and there, but it was a certainly a lot less and a lot less damaging oh than the God. others. But into the last turn, come onto the main street. P3, baby. Woo! And I felt good about that one. I really did. But, <sighs> we come home with the P3, but to my surprise, that Ferrari right there that finished P2 actually had a penalty. And we moved up to P2 because of it. So, we finished with a net uh, a net place of uh, P2. And let's see. Tim Schmidt was the race. Albert Reese finished his third. And if we look at our driver standings, we move up to P12. If you hung around, thanks for watching. So, since it is Saturday, these races run on Sunday. So, if you want to come and watch the race live on my Twitch tomorrow, yeah, I will be live. Tomorrow we're at uh, Monaco. I just call my P4 and the race starts at about 11 a.m. So if you want to come and watch, my Twitch will be in the description of the video. And shout out to Ben94 for making all these videos such as the highlights and such that you see on your screen. He's the one responsible for that. Aaron Smith is also responsible for the commentary in those videos. Shout out to them for creating those. Those are fun to watch back. but. I gotta say, it was a fun race. Uh, hope to see y'all tomorrow on my Twitch. Take care, y'all.